What's going on guys and welcome to this video. Today I have Braden all the way from America. Mm -hmm. He's come to visit the UK and he just made the trip down to Bath today to come and see my office and come and just have a chat about business because I love to meet other people doing the same stuff as me, you know, with personal branding and just the online entrepreneurship space. But yeah, Braden, thanks so much for coming down and I just wanted to ask you a few questions and share your experiences with my audience as well and tell them a bit about yourself. So obviously I know that you're in Shopify mm -hmm. um, and drop shipping. Talk to me about your journey with that, where, when you started, yeah, yeah. where you've got to now. So okay, so I was a uh, firefighter paramedic just over a year ago. Yeah. And um, so I knew that if I was ever going to give my wife the life she wanted, um, and then just the life that we wanted to be able to travel and stuff, I needed to go ahead and think of doing something else. Because most firefighters work two to three jobs. I don't know how yeah. it is here in the UK, but <laughs> in America work two to three jobs just to stay afloat. And so um, I first started looking into Amazon FBA and affiliate marketing and um, Amazon did all right. I was profitable, mm -hmm. but um, around this time I started experimenting with drop shipping and I took quite a few courses, um, went through a lot of pain and struggled <laughs> to do it. But um, when I figured out uh, the right way to go about it, um, scaled insanely fast. So. Yeah. Um, immediately started three stores, different niches, and um, second month of my second store took it to 120,000 in revenue. And nice. um, the profit margin was pretty high on that. It was a little over 30,000 uh, for that month. So um, it was very, very uh, kind of awesome and kind of came by surprise when yeah. I figured it out um, because we were at a very low point when I was firefighting um, and we were able to take it up really quickly. So. Um, I've been doing that for, uh, I guess, over a year now. Yeah. Um, it's been a ride, but a fun one. Crazy, yeah. It is, from what I've seen in other people in drop shipping, the ability to scale, we mm -hmm. were talking about this earlier when we went out for lunch, the ability to scale with drop shipping mm -hmm. is really, really uh, ridiculous, to be honest. And um, one thing about Braden that I, I've known because I've actually spoken to him one-on-one, -on -one, there's obviously a lot of Shopify people out there on YouTube who aren't actually doing what they're like yeah. claiming to do or not doing the numbers like Braden is. And so it's, it's Braden's one of those people that if you are interested in Shopify, you do need to check him out because he's actually doing it in the trenches every single day and working on his stores to continually bring in profit. Unfortunately, there is some Shopify people that aren't actually doing what they like to claim yeah. they are. They're making all their money just from a course. Yeah, and there's ways to tell when people are doing that. And it always comes out in the end. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys that are doing really, really heavy numbers. Um, and then a lot of people that aren't doing what they say. So definitely be careful who you get your advice from, whether it be in a course or whether you're just listening on YouTube. Um, that free information you get, be careful um, mm -hmm. what you're actually utilizing because some of it's just pure wrong, especially when it comes to Facebook ads. Um, even Instagram influencers, but especially Facebook ads, there's a lot of bad information out there. Yeah. And I see a lot of uh, very amateur information that's not going to really help you and can take you in the wrong direction. You'll waste money. Yeah. So obviously you've started your personal brand. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the start of your personal brand, what you feel like you've done well, what's worked well for you, mm -hmm. and maybe what you've like, maybe wasted time on, or you know, what's your wins and successes? Yeah, so um, the reason I started my personal brand kind of came about, um, I have a background in the military as well as being a firefighter, and so I've got a big service um, aspect to my life. That's, you know, I really, really get off on um, giving value to people, and I really like watching people go from, you know, essentially zero to, um, I've got some people that I've mentored that uh, they now do drop shipping full time and um, they've been able to quit their nine to five job, have a life of financial freedom, all of that. And so I really, really love doing that. Well, in order to be able to really do that at a, a top level, I knew I needed to, to gain an audience and to have a personal brand. And you see people like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, all these people um, with a large personal brand, they can really share their message, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And so um, I started in the beginning, I actually listened to Ty Lopez and he preaches about um, doing Facebook in the beginning. And so yeah. I did Facebook and I've got a very large following on Facebook, but um, it still wasn't getting my message out there. It wasn't really the right type of followers. I still love my followers on Facebook and I've got a lot of great ones, but it, it didn't have the power that Instagram and YouTube um, mm. have. And I just started my YouTube channel, um, well, I guess it's been about two months now. Mm. And um, 
it's the power of YouTube and even Instagram, but especially YouTube is just yeah. insane. You know, I see everything moving over. Um, it's already at video, but moving uh, video and voice. I mean, those are the two big things. So YouTube and podcast. Um, and the biggest regret I've gotten business right now is that I didn't start my personal brand sooner. I mean, that's just it, by far, and it's not just monetarily, it's, um, you know, impact, the, the well. impact, hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. When you actually get messages from people saying, thank you for that mm -hmm. like piece of advice or like, I've now been able to take my business in this direction for like pop for a positive reason. That's probably you know, just as good as like the monetary gains that you can yeah. get from a personal brand, but actually genuinely helping people out on a personal level in their lives and just giving a positive yeah. impact on the exactly. world. So to round it off, um, let me just ask you one more question um, about Shopify for my audience, because I know some of you do do uh, Shopify out there and drop shipping. So talk to me about the one tip that you'd give people when going out and marketing your products what platforms do you like to use the most to do that yeah so the two biggest i use are, are facebook ads and google adwords so um, the biggest thing i've seen is that you need to go ahead and focus on branding i see so many people focused on just finding a winning product yeah. uh, just finding products that sell you need to go ahead and establish a brand and another big thing everybody's so focused on scaling vertically in the big five the big five english-speaking countries you need to go global. This is how you can scale um, to massive numbers and scale really quickly. Um, and you need to you need to scale horizontally. Go across the globe as you're scaling vertically, um, and you'll kill it. I mean, this is how you can actually do those six figure months rather than you know doing the, the you know the popular around thirty thousand a month, which is still a great number. But if you want to do the big big numbers, you need to scale horizontally, and you need to get into um, other pla ad platforms like Google AdWords. Um, I see so many people focusing on Instagram influencers, which are great, but they're never gonna give you consistency in the huge, huge yeah. numbers. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Thanks very much for yeah. that. And yeah, thanks very much for coming down to Bath today. Yeah. But guys, what I'm gonna do is link all of Braden's social medias down below, Appreciate especially it. his YouTube channel. If you're in drop shipping or interested in drop shipping, definitely check him out because like I said, he's actually in the trenches doing drop shipping every single day and creating real brands behind those stores yeah. as well. Not just claiming he's doing certain yeah. numbers, he is actually doing them. But guys, thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys again soon. See you guys.